these ivy-like plants are blocking the way. The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. Yes, it is depicted here, our gateway out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Conarium, the thing I have been searching for my whole life. As much as I can understand, that one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever-living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Incredible! Uh, uh... And the other one depicts an ancient cornarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet, or maybe out of this dimension. My, this is just marvelous. is completely covering the view. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I can't bear the pain anymore.
these must be the products of my disordered imagination, and nothing more. Part of the strange flora is blocking the way here. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. Dr. Faust! Dr. Faust, are you there? Answer me, please!
ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. Frank, Joe, and... Ah! <sighs> 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 was... was that a sheer delusion? We need to be cautious, not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under... A stuffed sub-adult Nile crocodile, one of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanaldi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. I had it brought. Exactly the same room I've been in, in one of my visions. According to legend, this very djembe belonged to a learned drummer from Senegal, who can speak with the dead by rhythmically beating it. A native drum from the Asmat people of New Guinea. Their creation myth says Fumeripits made the first carvings of men and women. 
By beating on this drum, Femeripits caused the figures to dance, bringing them to life. Elusive mask from the submerged mask of an all powerful moon goddess is hmm. it sounded like the floor is hollow back there. This is called the Mask of the Beholder. Skulls from New Guinea that are believed to be housing protective spirits. A serpentine ritual mask from India. Cylinder.
When using Conarium, we are able to be seen as well as to see. For some time, I was detecting a conscious something, previously unseen by my rudimentary vestiges. Only lately, it becomes clear to me. Now it comes into every session, and seems to materialize more and more each time. I won't, I won't attempt describing it, but only would say that it's not benevolent. From what I can get from its glowing semblance, which I believe is used as a way of communication, it can sense you only if you spend a considerable time within the sessions. I've read about it in the cursed Necronomicon and some elusive records compiled from deep-rooted Bedouin oral literature. Thus learned that it tries reaching the corporeal vessel to dominate and execute the wanderers of the beyond, such as ourselves. But again, against all warnings, I was a fool to believe that I can stop it with just simple signs and incantations. As a resort, we ended up lighting up the place with myriads of candles as well as electrical lamps. But still shiver with fear, with every noise our rundown enclave is causing, isolated from ancient darkness of the night. Looks like something's missing here. In archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes, I've been able to trace some parts, speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. The ladder doesn't give out under my weight. Remember this place, and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. 
forcing them to cooperate by the means of the cursed necromancy, and dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. I remember this place. I need a phonograph cylinder. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside, through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder, as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time forevermore, and we failed to read between the lines. Extensive research and have not been in vain. Here it is, lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia.